their spoiler-free reviews of the newest films. Vaughn on Movies. Bradley Cooper and Robert De Niro star in Limitless, a paranoia field action thriller about an unpublished writer whose life is transformed by a top secret smart drug that allows him to use 100% of his brain and become a perfect version of himself. His enhanced abilities soon attract shadowy forces that threaten his new life in this darkly comic and provocative film. There's already a drug like that, it's called Charlie Sheen! The world's toughest movie critic. Now going into Limitless, I was expecting mediocrity. I mean, all the elements are there. Bradley Cooper's on his own, De Niro post 60. And then you look at the director, Neil Berger. This is the guy who made The Illusionist, or as I like to call it, the magician film from 2006, not called The Prestige. And I'm thinking, okay. And okay doesn't even scratch the surface. I am completely flabbergasted over how amazingly good Limitless is. So Cooper's playing the role of this writer who has a book deal and he's hardly even started. Does that sound like someone we know? But once he takes his magic pill, it opens all kinds of doors to him. And some of those doors he wants shut. There's a lot of unique levels brought into this film that I didn't expect. Essentially, the pill is money. Mo money, mo problems. And the way Eddie tries to address these issues really just fans the flames. I love how it's all woven together. And the direction is just exhilarating. I found the use of the color palette and the fancy editing techniques profound. It's not just something that's thrown into the movie. It actually has a purpose, trying to give the audience a look into his life. When the lights turn on, they literally do. All of a sudden, people have flesh tones. And the scene where Eddie cleans up his apartment reminded me of the Ikea shopping spree in Fight Club. Now before I get carried away, I have to give a shout out to Bad News Central and Griff Moy for answering this week's Pop Quiz Hotshot trivia question. Blah blah blah, yada yada yada. Follow me on Twitter at Vaughn on Movies. Be the first to answer the trivia question at 6 p.m. Central Time Monday. You get a shout out. Now being a genius, I was able to solve some of the conundrums facing Eddie, particularly towards the end of the movie related to fighting. Now while I was watching Limitless, I was totally on board. But afterwards, you get to realize that the god machine crept up a little often. Eddie's pill stash is kind of like the genie, who you know is going to grant you three wishes, and you want one of those wishes to be for more wishes. Well guess what Eddie, you got smart pills. Don't you think that after a little while, you'll be smart enough to know how to make your own smart pills? And for being limitless, he was actually limited in the scope of his problem solving skills. I would like to see how he got his relationship issues handled. Go Dr. Phil on us. Limitless is the Diet Coke of Fight Club. There's a twist to it, but it's not as good as the original. It would have been better with a little more drama. But I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I'm giving it three and a half out of four stars. In fact, if you do see this movie this weekend and you don't like it, I don't want to hear from you ever again. Peace. Peace.